Hey YouTube, ready for a fish room tour? Want to find out how to get one of these t-shirts? Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, this is Brian and I'm coming at you with a kind of a bonus fish room tour for the month of March since I didn't do one in February. I thought I'd try to get a second one out to you. Um, before I get started though, if you follow me on Facebook or follow Aquatic Support Systems or are involved in the Aquatic Support Community Group, you already know this, but we've got a run of t-shirts um, that we're going to do an order for coming up this Friday here. So if you're interested in a t-shirt, um, shoot me an email in the description below um, the video, my email will be there. And let me know they're two-sided I've got it propped up on here but let's see if I can't show you the other side that is the back and then the front just has a little aquatic support systems uh, I'm just gonna set the camera down for a quick second All right, the front has uh, the Aquatic Support Systems logo right there, kind of in the uh, chest area on the uh, left side. Uh, these are um, nice Hanes tagless shirts. This one happens to be a 3XL right here, so I'm a little bit of a bigger guy. But uh, they are available. The price is going to be 23 bucks a piece. Shipping will be uh, $8 for up to two shirts. And anything over that um, is going to be extra. We can just calculate based on uh, how many you order, the weight of the package, blah, blah, blah. So um, what we're going to do is do a prepay. Um, you need to let me know by Friday if you want one and what size. It's got to be a serious inquiry only. And then once I get a list of people on Friday, if we have 30 people, we need 30 to do this. If we have 30 people, we will go ahead and place the order and I'll collect money from everybody via PayPal on Friday. So again, let me know by Friday, um, March, what would that be, March 16th. Quick update on Magnus and Beast. They're doing a little bit better. Um, Beast is getting some of her color back but Magnus is still picking on her quite a bit you can see quite a bit of body damage but uh, we're just continuing to roll with it um, she has fought back a little bit you can see he's got a little bit of damage to his snout area as well but still really glad to have these fish uh, just unbelievable this this zombie man he is just just unbelievable that's all I can say uh, we'll move next door here. The uh, Redis Latus are at it again. They have either spawned or are about to in this tube. Don't have much uh, faith that anything will come of it, but as you can see, her tube's down. The coloration's looking good on both of them. And it's kind of the same old story, really. <laughs> um, now, you'll remember in my last update, I talked about how the eggs in the Hadiensis tank on this rock disappeared after I was doing a, a glass cleaning. Well, um, as you can see, we've got fry. Um, so um, it worked out, and uh, that's really good. So I'll get these pulled here relatively quickly and start growing them out. A couple of months down the road, I should have some Hadiensis available. And uh, same thing with these guys over here. They also spawn. Now you might ask what's going on here. 125 gallon down below. Seal broke and uh, so I had to divide um, the tank. The Trimax are on one side. These guys are on the other side and they still spawned anyway. Um, you can see all the fry here. I'm going to be replacing the 125 down here with a 180 as soon as my local fish store has them back in stock. Um, so that is kind of the down and dirty on what's going on here. The Trimax are looking good. Um, it'll be nice to get the Hadiensis out and uh, Trimax back into their own tank. <clears throat> Got some more fry over here. Optimus and Matrix, F1 Rio Megumbies. Um, quite a nice cloud of fry. 
Um, I'll get these pulled at some point as well and go from there. Some bad news down below here. Orion is a single man. Yep. Um, she jumped. Artemis jumped and she is no longer with us, unfortunately. So um, I came downstairs and smelled something bad. I had been gone all day, hadn't, uh, hadn't even been able to get down that morning to check on the fish. And uh, when I got home, I came down and smelled something and couldn't figure out what it was at first. I looked all around, no dead fish in any tanks. And then all of a sudden I was just sitting here in my chair and just kind of looking at the tank. And I'm like, wait a second, where's Artemis? And I started looking behind all the decorations and pots and everything, couldn't find her. And I'm like, oh no. So I looked behind the tank and she... She had jumped, somehow gotten a cover up and jumped out and she was back behind the tank, uh, uh, stiff as a nail, so unfortunately she's gone. And with that happening, I'm for sure going to get rid of Orion now. So if you're local and uh, want a nice uh, big dovi, let me know and, and uh, I'd like to rehome them as soon as possible. So. Unfortunate news, but it happens in the hobby. Um, <clears throat> these two Umbi females up here have both been sold. And um, just awaiting to, this one's waiting to be shipped. Um, the uh, We're just waiting. Um, she's healed up quite a bit, so within the next week or so, I should be able to ship him off, or her off. And then this one, a local uh, friend of mine, will be picking up in the next couple of days. Still got some uh, fairly new Midas grow-outs here. Sorry for the dirty tank. Um, these uh, Midas are also sold to one of the guys that is buying one of the Umbies above. So um, that's that. This, uh, this nice Moda here is about... I don't know, three to four inches. Not sure if it's a male or female. Uh, it's still available if you're interested. Uh, let me know. And then I've got the last ten dovi from Orion and Artemis. So um, these are obviously no longer going to be available. There are some scattered fry in that tank that I'm going to try to pull. I don't know if I'll have much luck doing it, but um, so this is basically the last 10 pack. Um, let me know if you're interested in these dovi and uh, some of them are getting to be nice size uh, in the two inch range, so let me know. And then down below here, as I said in my last video, I'm looking to move on some or all of these motas. Um, these are, some of them are three inch range now at this point, uh, real nice size, not able to sex them. Um, but uh, anyway, let me know if you're interested in some of these. Just like I said with the t-shirts, my email is in the description if you're interested in picking up any of these fish that I'm talking about. Um, over here is the Flower Horn, the Magma Colossus. He's doing real well as always. The uh, Loaches are doing good. I'm trying to keep this video a little bit shorter, so excuse me if I'm not... Uh, looking at everything real in depth. Um, this Midas pair down here are the ones that had the fry that I showed you a few minutes ago. Um, they're probably going to be spawning again in a few days, I would think. They're starting to show a little bit of behavior. Um, I'm about to pull the divider on these motas. Um, the male, Jinosuke, and the female that I got from Sean, I forget her name right offhand. She got beat up pretty good, but she's pretty much healed now. And she's done quite a bit of uh, improvements in, as far as her tank behavior, in that she's not hiding behind that heater all the time. She's out and about swimming all the time, eats, eats like crazy. And uh, just in looking at her, it looks like she may have some eggs in her. So I'm going to try to pull the divider again here in the next few days and see what happens. Um, the other flower horn, red magma up here is doing real good. So are the loaches. I lost one loach in here. I don't know if you noticed in my last video or maybe the video before, but I had one that was getting really skinny and um, 
just wasn't looking well. Um, it ended up passing on, so. But he's doing real well. We'll just head upstairs and uh, take a look at uh, Cheeto, and then I'll let you go. All right, so here's Cheeto's tank, same old story. Um, two females in there. Haven't had a chance to pull one female yet because I don't have anywhere to put her. As you can, as you can see in the basement, I've got divided tanks the way it is. But uh, at some point we'll do that and see if we can't get another spawn out of Cheeto and one of these females and go from there. Um, but that's all I got for you this month. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, real important if you're wanting one of these t-shirts. Um, these t-shirts are something I get asked about weekly. Why don't you have the t-shirts available anymore? Well, now we've got them, but we need to get 30 people to order them if we want to make it happen. And again, the price is 23 bucks for the shirt, uh, $8 for shipping, um, up to two shirts, and anything above that, we'll have to calculate a shipping price. I need you to let me know by Friday, Friday this week, which is, um, I'm just pulling up my calendar here on my computer just to make sure on the date. Yeah, the 16th of, of March. Email me at the email below in the description, or if you have my, if you're friends with me on Facebook, um, message me on Facebook or message me on the Aquatic Support Systems Facebook page or the Brian's Fish Tank Facebook page. Um, let me know what you how many you want what size and then on Friday if we get 30 then I will collect money You'll need to be prepared to pay on Friday of this week via PayPal um, Thanks to everybody that watches these videos if you're new to this channel Make sure you subscribe go over to aquatic support systems on Facebook go over to aquatic support community on Facebook And if you're looking to buy any southern delight got a bunch of bottles down right here, but uh, the main ones that I sell are the one pound bags, but um, if you're looking to buy Southern Delight, also email me and we can get you hooked up. All right, till next time, later.